Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. Today, we're going to talk about shipping a tractor. Hey everyone, hope you're enjoying the video. Thanks for tuning in to our episode. Uh, so Dave and I were talking about taking a road trip and we decided we'd love to meet you all. What we're looking for is um, submissions to an email address that is crazydequipment at gmail.com. In the submissions, we want to know, of course, your name, your contact information, um, a little bit about your family's history, your family farm history, the type of equipment that you have. Um, send us some pictures also. Uh, we'll go through the responses and pick a place to go. Uh, we're really looking forward to taking a little bit of time off and some vacation and getting to meet the people that make up the channels, what we're looking forward to doing. So again, you'll send those emails to crazydequipment at gmail.com excuse me, they'll include your name, contact information, um, a history on your family's farm. We're willing to travel anywhere that we can drive to, so keep that in mind. Sorry folks across the seas, we'd love to meet you, but that's not in the plans for now. Um, enjoy our videos, tune in, and we'll have more to come. Thanks again. So let's start out with telling you a story. Um, this aid in Ford, you guys might recognize if you've been with the channel in a while this is one of those that we bought on auction and it sold to a very nice gentleman who lives in california but has property down in mexico and he wanted to ship this tractor down to mexico to that property now he jumped in right away bought the tractor for my full asking price it was very pleasant gentleman to talk on the phone very present pleasant gentleman on emails but the other day he emailed me and he said that he can't get it shipped uh, between red tape and uh, the cost of what and what they wanted to ship this it wasn't feasible to ship this tractor down to uh, his property in Mexico now how much did they ask him he told me they were wanting eight thousand dollars to ship this from Kansas to Mexico which is absolutely ridiculous now I have sold a lot of tractors out of country I've had some Olivers go to France I've had an international go to Norway I have sold tractors into Australia and stuff so I, I've dealt with with um, with what it requires um, for overseas shipment um, and it, it's a little bit of work and that's not even overseas that's just over border shipment uh, there's there's a lot of rules and regulations uh, that you're gonna have to follow and I'm gonna recommend if you guys are wanting to ship a tractor over a border or across the seas that you guys sit down and go over step by step by step each and every each and every rule I sold a Minneapolis Moline one time to a gentleman who was wanting to who was wanting to take it over to England uh, when he got it when when he finally got something lined out with a shipping company me and the dock had to pull the tires and everything off and it had to be able to fit into a shipping container the problem was the tractor was too tall there was no way it was shipping in even with the tires off it was not sliding into a shipping container at all also all the fluids had to be removed from the tractor at the time of shipping also the oil needs to be drained from the engine in the rear end the coolant's got to be out of the uh, radiators there's got to be no uh, no um, fluids in the tractor so think about that so uh, the gentleman who bought the Olivers who sent those to France he handled that all himself he was a very nice gentleman uh, a little weird but a very nice gentleman uh, he he took uh, he uh, he handled all that uh, the same with the Norway tractor same with the Australian tractor the gentleman hauled all that the funny thing about the tractor that got shipped to, to Australia that it ended up in the in the in uh, in the Philippines and got offloaded there and he had to spend another uh, another 10 grand to get his container with his tractor loaded back on to the right ship 
and took to him, took to the port in Australia so he could get his tractor. So th just remember that too. Stuff like that happens with, with overseas shipping. Now let's talk about domestic shipping because that is something I do more often. So for you guys to know, the big uh, four wheel drive sold a while ago. Now that took a special shipper that went up to Colorado. Uh, the guy had to send down a dude. They had to be licensed and have all the paperwork filled out and stuff for an oversized load. Now we measured it and he was actually a uh, half an inch uh, in from being considered an oversized load. Uh, oversized load in Kansas is anything over eight feet and we were just a smidge in so he he really could have got away with it but we you know it's better to be safe than be sorry and then i had some people stop in the last few weeks and they were wanting to um they were wanting to ship some stuff to upstate new york and in that area there and so they're like well, what is that going to require well I'm personally not going to find your shipping company for you. I have no problem uh, when, the, when the shipping company gets here, getting your tractor to the guy so he can get it loaded on his trailer. I mean, I just sent a 930 up to Wisconsin. Yes, it went to Greg. He bought another 930 from me. But uh, uh, that guy it was a shipping company. That gentleman was really kind and nice, and it was very easy to get that tractor loaded. Uh, it was a non-runner. Uh, Junior Mint pushed it up with the uh, with the uh, um, with the forklift and got it on the trailer. So, but you're gonna have to figure cost. And right now, I did some research before me and Doc came out here to film this, and I did some. I called a few shipping companies, and you are looking anywhere from 375 to 450 a mile right now for shipping costs. So if you are a thousand miles away, you do the math on that. And that's loaded miles, so that is from the time that they leave me to the time they get to you, uh, whatever the mileage count is, is uh, something that's going to, going to be. The other thing you're gonna remember is if a shipping company tells you they're gonna be there on Thursday, expect them Saturday. I've never yet had a shipping company that actually delivered the item on the day when they said it was going to be delivered or around the time. Now, some of you might have had better luck with that. So, but just those are just some things that you guys need to think about before you think about buying a tractor far away from home and be able to get that ship to you, to your location, to your home, to your business, to your farm, to your setter, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So, um, at the beginning of this video, you guys noticed we had the old. Um, old uh begging for uh or asking for collections and i just want to say real quick here as we're getting back to the end and the ending of this video is that i really really want you guys to if if you got a if you got a few tractors and, and you want want me and angie to come look at them we are absolutely would love to come look at your collection we want to yeah you know if you guys are down texas way we'll come down and see you this winter if you're up north we'll come see you this spring um if you're either two directions we'll figure out what works best but we're really really wanting to do more of the road trip videos where we go out to your guys's collections i think you want i really would really would love to share your guys's collections with everybody you know i've never done a video on my own personal collection but that's because it's so spread out and it would take me and doc days to round it all up because i got some stored in one yard some stored in another yard some stored here at the shop some back at the uh at the farm not all of them are pretty a lot of them are not pretty and i don't care if your collection is not pretty and if they're all in work clothes tractors i will we want to come out we want to meet you guys and we want to see your collection so but anyways guys thank you very much for watching thank you for coming in we all love you here at crazy d's equipment and we will talk with you guys later on